so this video is a video that i knew that i had to record or had to film or had to test out after i heard the release of the foundation sticks by juvia's place i wanted to compare the sticks with the iron magic foundation to see which one is, is most suited for someone who has an oily skin a dry skin one that has more coverage one that is more beautiful one that is blendable i wanted to put these two foundations to the test now if you're watching this i want you to guess for a minute or a second which one i applied the two foundations on the two sides of my face i wanted to take out one second and kind of like take the poll here let me know which one you think is the I am magic foundation which side is it this side or this side as well as its stick foundation so let me know which side you think belongs to which as you guys can tell it is quite difficult to figure out which because they look so identical and yeah so I'm gonna be doing a test a swatch an application blending building to kind of figure out which one is best suited for a specific category of people as well as doing a wet test as well to just we're making this very in-depth basically so if you want to buy one of these foundations this video is going to be the video that will tell you which one of them to buy or both of them to buy <laughs> so yeah if you guys want to know how i feel how they swatch what they look like comparing them together side by side then definitely to keep on watching okay hey guys so to get started i want to moisturize both my face and my lips as well because i do have a dry skin So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to do the cream on this side and then do the liquid foundation on this side and for the stick foundation I'm going to be using the shade Cameroon which is like my perfect shade in this range this is what Cameroon looks like and on the other side I'm going to be using the shade Accra as well this is what Accra looks like this is Accra and this is Cameroon. I'm just swatch it side by side so we can see what it looks like. It kind of looks like Accra is a bit lighter than the Cameroon, but that's majorly because this one oxidizes. So by the time this one oxidizes, it's going to be the same shade as Cameroon. I'm starting to feel like this shade might be darker than my skin. So I might just change up the shades a bit. Yeah, this shade looks like it's darker. Mm -mm. Okay guys, just looking at it, this aqua shade looks like a shade lighter than the cameroon shade and obviously bear in mind that this shade oxidizes a shade darker so by the time it gets it oxidizes it's going to be probably this same shade i don't know if you guys are noticing that it's getting darker already so let me just go ahead to use my foundation brush to just buff it in now something that i did notice while using this foundation for the first time is that it's really creamy so it's easy for it to move around and it is medium to full coverage or full coverage depending on how many swipes you apply on your face so right now it's giving me full coverage because i applied quite a bit of swipes i'm just going to buff all that products in i'm just going to buff in this foundation on this side now if you guys know anything about this I am magic foundation is that it is full full coverage so compared to the cream foundation which is kind of like medium coverage this one gives you more coverage okay guys so something that i'm instantly noticing apart from the shade difference obviously the shades are not supposed to be the same thing i'm using two opposites two different shades from two different product lines but what i'm noticing is that they both blend out seamlessly so easy they don't dry down matte they blend out easily and they are both quite dewy 
but obviously the Korean foundation is a bit more dewy than this liquid I am magic foundation so that is what I'm getting now and also something that I noticed is that this side is um, this is medium coverage while this is full coverage as you guys probably already know okay all right guys so I'm just going to go ahead to complete my entire look come back give you guys my verdict and maybe do like a wear test I didn't use primer I just used moisturizer on my face so I want to see how well this product or this foundation last and where probably which one lasts longer and yeah let's see now I'm gonna be using the same product on the same sides of my face so that we can have like a plain level feel so that way you know that it has to be the foundation that is the difference I'm gonna go off camera and come back all right so guys we are done with the entire makeup look this is what we created this is what we have now my hair is looking a bit of like all, all over the place but do bear with me so this is what I have now remember guys on this side we use the I am magic foundation while on this side we used the stick foundation we use the shade Accra and we use the shade Cameroon so this is what my face looks like as you guys can see you can barely even tell the difference you can't even tell that I used two entirely different foundation shades and two different foundation formulas it just looks amazing the thing about makeup is that you can't really judge from the initial review you have to kind of see what it looks like after a couple of hours and all of that but i'm gonna let this sit for a while maybe a couple of hours let's see if we can do nine hours or six hours and kind of come back and compare what the two sides look like again i use the same product on both sides the same amount of product on both sides basically powder highlight so if anything happens you know that it is from one foundation or the, or the other so I want to see what this foundation looks like after a couple hours of wear and see what would best be suited for someone who has a dry skin who has an oily skin and all of that because I know that's what people usually look out for so if you want to buy one of these foundations I'm gonna come back in a couple of hours and share with you my opinions and my reviews and my test and all of that in a couple of hours so let's just let's just come back after a couple of hours <laughs> all right so hey guys we are back my sleeves are rolled up it's been a long day my makeup looks greasy well i kind of like how greasy it looks but yeah we're here to do a wear test I, I had this foundation on at about 1 p.m past 1 p.m now it's currently 10 30 7 p.m. so I've had this makeup on for roughly nine hours nine hours plus so this is what they are both looking like so let me just come closer a bit so we can see this foundation up close so on the left side on this side we have the eye magic foundation while on this side we have the stick foundation now I want to see what this looks like I can't even lie like I can't even tell which side looks more greasy or which side is greasier than the other because they both look exactly the same to be honest with you I feel they both wear equally the same I did not prime my face I just moisturized it this is the stick foundation side while this is the I am magic foundation side so let me know down in the comment section what you think which side looks more greasy but just looking at it they look exactly the same i'm trying so hard to figure out where um so just looking at both sides i'm not having like any small lines on both sides which is something i noticed with both foundations it doesn't sink into my small lines and small lines as well my nose area is not as bad this looks weird but just bear with me usually here so i don't know if you guys can see i'm sorry ignore this but we're doing this for the foundation so yeah on this side i am creasing up a bit while on the cream side i'm barely even creasing up around this nose area so yeah my smile lines i feel like i'm creasing up here more than i am here i just feel like that let me take my hair back and see 
I'm producing almost the same amount of oil on both sides. It's so greasy. No, I, I actually thought this side would be a lot more greasy compared to this side, but they look exactly the same. I can't even lie. So that's my take on it. This is my 10 hour wear test on both foundations. It's quite long lasting. Let me just take my sponge and just see what it looks. Oh, that was too much. That was definitely too much. Again, the product is not moving, or should I say the foundation is not moving. So, or it's not picking up the foundation. So I just went ahead to apply a little bit of my setting powder. And that is why I'm looking a bit matte. I feel like you can definitely freshen up your look after 10 hours of wear if you guys tend to be a little bit greasy. Just have your powder brush, your face powder or a blotting powder around you or a tissue paper but be very careful while using that. Blot your face and honestly you would be brand new. Okay, so my final verdict or my final take on both foundations while comparing them together. So in terms of blendability, they both blend out easy and they are both easy to work with when applying on the, on the skin, on the face. Um, in terms of building it up, you guys already know that the Eye Magic Foundation is extra full coverage while the stick foundation is medium to full coverage. So if you want something that is kind of like an everyday wear, yeah, then go for the stick one. However, if you have acne scarring, hyperpigmentation, you want something that would give you that full, full coverage without layering and layering and layering and layering and layering, then definitely go for the Iron Magic Foundation because that is what I get with the Iron Magic. That's the first thing I noticed with the Iron Magic Foundation. It's like it is extra full coverage. It literally does go a long way. So yeah. Um, in terms of how well it wears the wear test they both wear equally the same i feel like i wish i had a different skin but i do have a dry to normal skin and that is it for that that's my take on both foundations if you guys enjoyed this video let me know down in the comment section give me a thumbs up comment down as well if you guys have tried any of this foundation comment down below let me know what you think about either of them or both of them or yeah you get me <laughs> and i'll definitely see you guys in my next video before i see you in my next video make sure you check out my other videos i have a whole lot of whole lot of reviews on foundations on both foundations independently as well as palettes and all that so feel free to check that out over here and after doing that come back and watch my next video that i'm going to be uploading very soon but till then stay fabulous and stay blessed bye guys